Hi, good morning to my friends here in, and overseas. South Africa is a very diverse co country in all our affairs. And thank you for all the hundreds of messages we get of support. Then we get those who say, hey, why do you talk so much? Or what are you doing, man? Maybe if you were doing to make a difference, doing something, we could all stop talking. Or do you want us just to, to die a silent genocide? Let me tell you how the police works. My bucky gets stolen on Thursday night. On Friday, I get informed by social media they found it. By a post on social media. I, bet, I then get informed by my tracker that they found my bucky. I give a statement to the police <clears throat> before it is found. We're now on Saturday morning late. I have not heard from the police. I have not heard from a detective. And as an ex-detective, they should contact me immediately. I don't know where my bucky is. I don't know what personal possessions of my bucky are still there or not still there. We're going to make our way back to Cape Town in a hired car that is expensive. So now you silent people tell me what I must do. If you've got the answers for this. I came across a lot of blacks and colored people and Indian people, mainly obviously Indian people and black people in, in Natal. What beautiful people. But then we drove down the back roads of Durban late last night and it looked like Rwanda on steroids. Very diverse country. I don't believe that most people are racist in their being. I have met some beautiful black people here. But unfortunately, we've got those thugs that follow that little small dick syndrome. That's our problem. That's our problem. The rest, I can live with them all day. And they will live with me all day. Because I treat them with respect. But those little thugs are what's killing others.